All right, what's good, y'all? I'm back today, of course, with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install new businesses using AK47 Business Script. In my last video, I showed you how to install this script. So I'm gonna be showing y'all how to create new ones. So of course, you're gonna wanna go to your resources folder. You're gonna go over to AK47 and AK47 QB Businesses. Now, you're gonna to wanna to download this template folder. I am going to put a Google Drive link for it in the description. And keep in mind, this is for QB Core only. I already created an ESX video. It's under the ESX playlist on my channel on how to create new businesses. So if you're here for ESX, go over to that video. And if you're here for QB Core, you can just keep watching. So like I was saying, you're gonna to wanna to download the template folder. I put the link, put a Google Drive link to download it in the description. So you're going to want to download it and you're going to open it up. You're going to want to drag this replay script into your Q, uh, QB business and then shops where you have all of these. You want to drag it right in here. You're going to want to change the name to this. For example, I'm going to be doing a noodle shop. So I'm going to be changing it to noodles. You can change it to whatever business type you're making. And keep in mind, this is for restaurants, guys. So just a reminder. So of course... We're going to want to go to noodles. You're going to open it up or whatever you named it. And you're going to want to replace everything that says replace or item underscore name. So the first thing you guys can follow along just so you don't mess anything up. The first thing you're going to want to change is right here inside the brackets. Make sure you do not capitalize whatever you put in here at it as it is the job name. Um, It's not what's going to show up on your screen. This is just a behind the scenes job name. So make sure you keep it capitalized and you do not put any type of spaces. So I'm going to just do noodles. And right here where it says blip, this line right here, this can be capitalized and it is going to be displayed when you hover over the blip on your map. So I'm going to put a capital N for noodles. And you can keep this on true if you want to see the blip. If you want to blip like this, you can keep it on true. But since mine is inside of a mall, I don't want the blip. So I'm going to just change it to false. You guys can keep it a true. Um, if you guys want to change the size, you can change the sizing right here. Um, I would recommend maybe 1.8 to 1.5. I wouldn't really go lower than 1.5. I mean 0.5, sorry. 0 0.5 is probably the lowest you'd want to go. Um, I recommend it 0 0.8. It's, on a, it's pretty good size. And if you want to change what type of blip it is, you can go over to Google. So let's open up Google here real quick. Open up Google. And then first thing you're going to want to search up, you're going to go 5M blip. Can't spell blip IDs. You're going to open this, spot, this link right here. I'll put the link in the description as well. And you have all the blip icons right here. Um, so, for example, all you'd really want to do is you just copy this number right here and you'd replace the sprite equals you change this number to it. I'm not going to do it since I don't have the blip enabled, but if you guys would like to, you guys can go ahead and do that. Now on to the next thing. Right down here. This is where your employees will go to to make the food or to choose what food they want to make so i'm gonna just put it right here slash tx go down to teleport here you just want to click your arrow keys until you see copy cords go ahead and click it and we can go ahead and replace this with the cords vector threes you're going to want to delete this last cord right here and control s and for vectors four you are going to want to keep the last cord which I will show you guys exactly why I'll explain it to you. Actually, that last chord that I deleted from up here is the way that it, you are heading. So you don't need that for markers that are on the ground. But for example, down here for the steps of me, like making the item, the animation, you're going to want to be facing a certain way, which is why it's a vector four, which is why you would keep that last one. I'll give you guys an example once we get to it. So for crafting, we're going to want to change this item name now to the item name of your food, which 
I have one right here. You guys can, of course, make it whatever you want, whatever your business is. So I'm going to just do that. And the steps to make the burger, I want to put one over here, of course. So now I'm going to do slash TX again, go back down to copy chords. And now we're going to paste it right here in the first step. As you can see, I am facing this way, which is what this shows right here. So now if I turn around and copy my chords, as you can see, this number changed right here, but all of the other ones stayed the same. Might have changed a little bit, but for the most part, they look the same. So this is the way that your character is going to be facing while doing the animation, which is why you don't need that up here. That's a whole nother thing. I'll probably do debbing tutorials in the future, but for now, we're going to stick to um, AK-47 scripts. But anyways, back to this. We're going to want to put that cord there. We're going to want another one right next to it. Actually, we'll just do two steps today. We'll do that one and this one right here. So we can actually go ahead and delete this last step. If you want to change the message that your progress bar says, you can change it right here. If you want to change how long it takes to make, um, to do each step, you can change it right here. This is in seconds. So you can do whatever you want. I'm going to leave them the same. And for my storage, I want my storage to be right here. So I'm going to just go ahead, copy the cords, place them in right here. And once again, you're going to want to delete this last one. You're going to leave that comma and 0, 0.0. And now the sell cords, that is where customers will go and buy the food items from your store. So I'm going to put one right on over here in the middle. Let's get, let's get centered. Let me just copy chords. Go back to the script and place it right here. I only want one, so I'm going to delete that and delete this comma. And there you go. We're going to go ahead once again, delete that last chord. And now for the items that will be for display on the market, we're going to go ahead and grab my same item from before and put it right there. We'll go do that a couple spaces. And again, this is the display name. So on this part, you can add spaces, you can add whatever you want. For item names, you cannot add spaces nor capitalizations. So just just don't. For the display name, of course you can. So we're gonna go ahead and capitalize this, remove the dashes and add spaces. And for this page number right here, your page numbers are down here. So for example, I have foods and, and drinks um, categories. So I am going to delete food. Actually, I'm going to delete drinks since this is a food, of course. And we're going to save that. If you want to add more categories, you can just copy the first one. And you can go ahead and add one down here. And all you're going to want to do is change this to one you want to always start at zero never just not have zero so just make sure you have a zero but for now actually we'll just make a drinks category just so you guys can see that it gets created down here so we'll just make that drinks i'm gonna leave this on zero that is it's in foods and just like that you finished the first step now you're going to want to go back to your template folder Let's see if we can get that to minimize. minimize this. Go back to your template folder, open items, and you're going to want to go to items right here. Now, what you're going to want to do, your, yours is going to look different. Yours is going to say item underscore name on where you have to replace things. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab this, grab our item name, and we're going to put it right there. We are going to put it right there as well in the label. You can, this is the only place you can put spaces, capitalizations in the first two that I showed you guys, make sure there's no spaces nor any capitalization, how much the item weighs. I'm going to make it only weigh one type of item. Leave that as item. The image should be the item name. 
that is up to you whatever you put in um into your inventory but that is the item name for mine unique keep false usable true should close true combinable leave that nil and right here we are just gonna do delicious that is not how you spell delicious delicious i can't type right now that is not how you spell delicious either i'm gonna just do amazing i can't spell right now so uh, once again over here you can add spaces and capitalizations so that's going to be the description of my item let me just control s to save it and you're done go ahead and control a to copy this and control c i mean control a to highlight it all and control c to copy Minim minimize that i'm going to want to go back to your resources folder i'm going to open qb you're going to go to qb core shared and items and i know it looks complicated you don't really mess with any of this stuff and now we're just going to hit shift enter right here to make a new line we're going to add two dashes to tag it out and i'm going to name this noodles you don't have to do this this just makes it more organized for me and you can control v to paste your item and control s to save it and now just like that this item was created in your server now you can go ahead and close that you're going to want to open a job don't worry this will also be different this will say your job name but now right here you're going to want to change that to whatever you put into um your business's script so shops open the one you created you're going to want to put this whatever you put in here is what you want to put right here in the job name and then the label can be capitalized. You can go ahead and close this. And now over here, I'm going to leave everything the same. This, of course, exactly what it says is just the, the ranks of the job. So I'm going to just keep those exactly how it is. I'm going to control S after you replace those two and close that out. Now you're going to want to go back to QB core. I'm going to want to open shared and open jobs. You can drag this off to the side, go back to the template folder, open that job that you just created. And you are going to highlight the whole thing. Control C to copy. Right under employed, you're going to hit shift enter and control V to paste that new job. Now that job again was created into your server. And that is it for the job. Now, for your boss menu, you're going to open this boss. You're going to put your job name right here. So, mine was Noodles. Make sure it is not capitalized like always. Of course, yours will say something else, unless you're following this exactly. You'll just put your job name there. And you want to put your management. So, I'm just going to put my management behind this counter right here. I'm just going to put mine right on. Go ahead and copy these cords. Paste them in right here. Delete the last one. And control S. Now you're going to want to hit control A and control C to copy. You can go ahead and close that out. Then you're going to want to go back. Go into QB. You're going to scroll down until you find QB management. You're going to go to client and then CL underscore config. And right over here, shift enter. Actually, we'll go on to the bottom. Right on the last one, you're going to hit shift enter and then control V to paste in that new job menu. Control S to save it. And just like that, you created a new business. And I will show you guys here in a second. With a quick server restart. And right after the restart, your new business will be in the server. And I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I'm loaded in. Alright guys, we are back in the server. Go ahead, select my character. I'm going to hit last location. Confirm. Let everything around me load in. And let's see if... There's no error message. 
So let's see why this isn't working. Over here, shops, noodles. Let's see, that's ex I don't think that would be why. Another thing I forgot, you have to add boss actions. So let's actually do that right now and restart the script. So boss actions, I will put over here. Actually, let's check to make sure the job went in. So set job one noodles four. Yeah, the job went in perfectly fine. For now, we're gonna do this really fast. We're gonna do slash tx. We're gonna copy these chords. We're gonna put management right here. Delete the last chord. And boss actions will fall on the other side. Copy this and once again delete the last chord. Now, this should work now. So let's go ahead and restart this. Oh, not many pieces twice. Restart, there you go. And there you go. Now, you should have everything going great in there i'll add the item here in a second and you can see since i'm the owner i can see the process menu of course nothing is in here right now and behind the counter we should see yep see the shop menu there's nothing in here and over here job management of course you can see you can hire employees and all that good stuff so now let's add this item And the reason the item didn't work for me is because the item is created twice. Since you guys are adding a new item, you guys won't have this problem. But I had the problem since it was already an item and I added it again. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete it. Um, but that won't be a problem for you guys. Your item should pop up. And go ahead and delete that. Whoa, restart. QB core. Hopefully we don't crash here. I should just click okay. Restart script name or restart that script. Not sure if that would be a problem without doing a server restart. Yes, it is indeed a problem. So I'm going to restart the server and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, once again, back in the server. Sorry about that. Everything should be fixed and ready to go now. Last location. Confirm. And let's head on over to the front. And there you go. Now you can see item is here. Add that to cart. We will check out. Just to verify. As you can see, it gave me the burger. You can see I'm hungry down on the bottom left. Go ahead and eat it. And that filled up our hunger. But yeah, guys, sorry about the little trouble, but as you can see, it's honestly pretty simple. Um, I obviously made that one mistake of creating the item twice. But other than that, guys, as you can see, it's honestly, like I was saying, a fairly simple process. But if you guys do have any questions or are having trouble, you guys can go ahead and join the Menon AK-47 Discord. Discord.gg slash Menon AK-47. I'll put a link down in the description. You guys have any questions you guys can go in there i'm usually in discussion talking suggestions only or in forums you can go ahead and at cyber dev right there at cyber i'll pop up at me with your question or you can comment it down below i'll try to get to you as fast as i can but yeah guys other than that that's honestly all i have for you guys today so i'll catch you guys in the next one